Main event at Del Mar on Saturday was the Grade 1 Hollywood Derby. Let's take a look at that field. Three-year-olds going nine furlongs on the grass. A field of 13. You scratched California Gold Rush, the Philly, before the race started. Uh, Post-time favorite was no surprise. Raging Bull coming in for Chad Brown from the East Coast. Uh, you know what this horse is capable of on his best day. His most recent run at Belmont Park. Left a little bit to be desired. Certainly more on the disappointing side, but he had been given some time off about two months and you figured if Chad was going to send him all the way out there, he was probably going to be primed and ready to go. And that's exactly what he was. Here's the stretch run of the Hollywood Derby. Go wide, but Raging Bull has dead aim on the leaders. They come for home. Raging Bull on the outside. River Boyne in the red has gone on. River Boyne, Raging Bull coming at him with each and every stride. River Boyne's all heart holding on to it. River Boyne, Raging Bull. Raging Bull has got him. Raging Bull up to win it. Raging Bull gets the job done as the 9-5 to five favorite over the second choice, River Boyne. And he finishes second at 5-2 to two over the third choice in still regard the other Chad horse making his turf debut at odds of 5-1. to one. That trifecta, a couple of Chads along with River Boyne comes back, meh, 27 bucks and some change for 50 cents. Let's take a look at Raging Bull a little bit more. He's 5 of 7 lifetime, 6 times in the exacta, over $584,000 in career earnings owned by Peter M. Brandt, trained by Chad Brown. Another Chad winner in a grade one race. Bred by Dayton Investments Limited in France. Written to victory by Joel Rosario, and you see the pedigree. He is by Dark Angel, out of a Mr. Greeley mare named Rosa Bonheur. A 97 buyer speed figure for Raging Bull, winning the grade one Hollywood Derby. Gets his final eighth of a mile in 11.35. Uh, flashed just a, a tremendous kick, and Rosario, I thought, did everything right on him. Kept him out in the clear. We talk about saving ground so often in turf races. And I understand everyone likes the idea of that, that you know, ground-saving, rail-skimming trip. Save, 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 and then, you know, you you get the jump and go on with it, and you've got everything going on for you. I, I Personally, give me clean run every day of the week. Save ground on the first turn. Save ground down the backside when the real running starts. Make sure that you are not going to be impeded. I don't care if you have to come five or six wide. It's exactly what Rosario did with Raging Bull. Save ground, save ground, get him out into the clear, and let him roll home. Uh, I thought it was an impressive effort, but an unsurprisingly strong effort because this is what you expect when Chad sends horses out of New... I shouldn't even say this. When Chad runs horses in grade one races, you expect him to run. Plain and simple. The fact that Raging Bull was 9-5, to five, almost 2-1, to one, some people might look at that and say that was a bit of a bargain. Uh, the mile and an eighth, he had proven himself over that, over more testing ground than what you had on Saturday. And uh, again, all things considered, I, I don't really, I don't have much to add other than I thought he was very impressive and he did what he was supposed to do. Uh, he went and ran down a nice horse in River Boyne. Now, River Boyne might be one of the few Southern California-based horses that can go east and be competitive. Um, I, I feel like in a division that really it feels like, especially now if you look at it, it's been a minute since we've seen it's in the post. Um, you look at some of the other horses out there in Southern California, there is no boss as far as older horses are concerned on grass. It feels like anyway, and let's just hope everything goes on and they continue on with them. I would see no reason why they wouldn't. Let's hope that this Mullins horse right here is one that can kind of take the torch from it's in the post because I think we all agreed that it's in the post he's not quite what he once was even if he comes back off of a long layoff on the flip side River Boyne it feels like distance I didn't think the distance got him beat I just think he got beat by a better horse on this day um, I, I like everything about River Boyne I think he's rock solid and he ran a giant race here he ran a winning race I mean he was only a half length defeated and he was almost three lengths clear of instilled regard but in all things considered, instilled regard, ran fine for his first turf race. Uh, it never really looked like he was going to win, but the fact that he fought on to finish third, I thought that was solid enough. He can be a useful horse going forward. Uh, I would still like to see him get back to the dirt at some point. Uh, Prince Earl, I thought this was a good effort, and the interesting thing there was you could see from that most recent run, he got banged around at the top of the lane, and he popped back to his left lead, and that's when he finished on. I don't think that was truly indicative of the horse getting short or any of those sort of things. I just think he kind of got bounced around. For one of the first times in his career, he was so lightly raced, he came back, acquitted himself very nicely here. I know there's some things that have been made about the ride with Carrick with Kent DeSormo. Uh, the only thing I can say is when I watched the tape, coming around the first turn, it's not so much that they were going that slow. I thought Kent had a hard hold on the horse, and the horse was just going. 
Um, and at that point, I if I'm Kent DeSormo and I'm anyone that bet on Carrick, I'd much rather him do what he did, get him out into the clear, and you know what? If he's if he's just going to go on and, and, and pull, and it's not that he was completely headstrong and crazy, but it looked like Kent had a hard hold on him, and the horse just pulled himself into it. I'd rather have him get him out into the clear, and you know what? You made that little bit of a brush up the backside, and now all of a sudden we have a little bit of a contested pace. I'd rather have that happen than you try to stay, bury him on the inside, try to get him to relax and keep cover, and then he starts throwing his head about, and he's just wasting all sorts of energy. I, You know, unfortunately, at the end of the day, it's still one of those instances where they're animals, and they got a mind of their own. And if he wanted to go, he wanted to go. Um, I, You know... That's at least what it looked like to me with the tape. That it wasn't a matter of Kent pushing him, saying, all right, let's go, you know, angle out and go off and, and try to take on this thing. I think it was just more a matter of he had two fists full and the horse kept wanting to go. So rather than get stymied in behind horses, angle him out into the clear, make him have a little bit of a brush. You know he should have the bottom for a race like this. I didn't have a major issue with it. As far as the rest of the field is concerned, they're probably a little bit subpar as far as... In the grand scheme of things, it's a pretty formful race. You had the f- five top choices run... Uh, what in the t- Or you had the four top choices run in the top five. Um, I guess have at it was a little bit disappointing, but he was cutting out the fractions. And again, he's that kind of horse. He was coming off as just such a perfect trip. It was difficult to really get super excited about him in a spot like this. Desert Stone got in a little bit tight on the front side for the first time, but he never really kicked at any point. Um... Yeah, for the most part, I think that's kind of what you got from everyone else. I think for the most part, everyone ran their race, uh, and Raging Bull just was better. Raging Bull and Riverborn, they, they were very clearly the top two, and you know what? They proved themselves to be that way. Uh, Raging Bull gets the job done. He's a grade one winner. He wins the grade one Hollywood Derby with a 97 buyer.